Good morning friends. I am Jacqueline Goldburn and I am from Jamaica but at present I am in the US just for a short time and I just want to bring you greetings and love for the year 2022. 2021 has been a significant year in the life of all of us and I just want to say many of us lost hope many of us lost a sense of peace and security and i just want to bring you comfort from the word of god in isaiah 41 verse 10 and 13 the lord reminds us that he is here we should not be dismayed he is our help and god has truly been true and faithful to that word and in isaiah chapter 12 verse 2 to 4 he promises that he is going to be our salvation and just to pause and to think what salvation means salvation means deliverer a protector from harm and as we face another year where we are full of uncertainty and we have the pandemic all around us getting worse when we were hoping that we would have seen the back of it. But there is hope. There is peace and there is joy that we can look forward to in the fact that God remains faithful. Jesus that we have celebrated in the Christmas season remains present. He's not gone. He's still here. And he brings hope and joy and peace and love. And so I wish for you joy, peace, hope, a sense of uh, certainty that we have in Jesus. Because he's here with us and he will never leave or forsake us. He is our salvation. He will protect us from harm and protect us from destruction. And he brings that. And I wish you all the best. God bless you. Good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year. You know, it is a new day. It is a new year. So many good things that we could think about. So many good things, things that we could conquer. You know, I am just energized. I love mornings. Mornings is my time of the day. I wake up every morning. It's like, yes, good morning. I have a friend that every morning she would wake up, she would shout out, Good morning, Jesus, you know, and this is a new year and I'm sure that she's shouting out, Good morning, Jesus. Her name is Dessa. Anyhow, so what is your, what do you do for the new year? Do you make a resolution? You know, what is the tradition? What, what do you or you and your family do like for the break of the new year? For me, growing up, um, my family, my siblings, and my mother and I, we used to stay up from, we call it Old Year's Day, which, you, which some of you all may call New Year's Eve. We stay up from the Old Year Day, right, which is the 31st of December, to see the break of the New Year. And I grew up going to church to see that break of the New Year. Um, so if that may be your tradition, going to church to see that break of the new year, to ring in the new year in church, or you do something, um, go on vacation um, with your family or stay in a resort um, or all that. Um, for us, one of the other things that we would do besides going to church to bring, to bring in the new year is if we are at home, bringing the new year with prayer. So even though Cliff and I, we are not in the same country or in the same place, um, that is one of the things that we always do, ringing the new year, you know, spending time with God, praying, you know, talking about, you know, a lot of things, our personal life, you know, things that we want to accomplish and all that. So I had to FaceTime Cliff yesterday or last night and we rang into the, in the new year praying, you know, thanking God for this year, you know, that we are in the land of the living. And I know that 2021 and we said that about year 2020 because it was the pandemic we didn't know how long this would have been going on for but a lot of people were like 
we are done with 2020 and 2021 is going to be better and we realized that we were still in the pandemic and a lot of persons, family members may have died. I know um, persons who got divorced, you know, who went through a lot of death in their family, who were at death's door, you know. Um, it was really, really trying for a lot of persons. Persons who are struggling with fertility, persons who um, marriage got renewed, persons who end up having babies um, in the new year, persons who got new job, you, you know, persons who accomplished so many things um, in the new year. And my heart is that I always like to think about the positive. They will always have bad things, but we need to not highlight the bad things and diminish the good things. You know, and I don't know if that's a culture or that might be, you know, just the thing that people say, you know, I'm done with this year. I'm fed up of, of this year. Let us not curse the season that we are in. And instead, you know, sit down and probably create a journal, a thankfulness journal, you know, where we could highlight the good things that happen in our life. Because I am positively sure if you look back, if you journal every good thing, right, that happened to you in the year, when you look back, you are positively sure there will be much more good things than bad things. So I want to read to you a script here. All right, it is taken from Isaiah. Give me one second, let me get it for you. So it is taken from Isaiah. So let me give you the background story. Um, this was what was happening to Jacob, all right, in the Old Testament. And God was telling Jacob, right, do not fear, I have redeemed you. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not seep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. And that is what I want you to think of because God is not a respecter of persons. And even though he's saying that to Isaiah, the same thing that he's saying to us, that, that we are redeemed and that no matter what is going through, what we are going through, that he will be with us, you know. Um, I want to also read the other part of Isaiah 43. So the first part of Isaiah, that was Isaiah 43. Um, give me one second. Right, that was Isaiah 43, um, 2. And now I'm reading Isaiah 43, 18 to 19. That says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. You know, and I want you to know that God is a God of new things. And no matter what happened in 2021, know that this year, that God is doing a new thing in your life. All right? You have to be able to trust God and that even if you're seeing things negative, even if people are speaking things negative into their life and into their year, you do not do the same. You, I want you to look and say, you know what? A new thing is going to happen. Last year, I went through all this, all these bad things happening. This year, I'm going to focus on the positive. I am going to write on, I'm going to journal all the positive things God is doing in my life. And I'm every week, at the end of every month, at the end of the year, I am going to review it. And I'm going to see the good things that God will and has done in my life. So, from all of us, from the Genesis Project family and all the directors, which is um, Cliff, David and myself, we want to thank you for such a beautiful year, for all your donations in 2021. And we are excited to see all the good things that God is doing in 2022. So again, from all of us to all of you, Happy New Year's. And let's look forward for that new thing. Love you. Bye.